Hey there Rangers, this is Info Hero. Are you ready for another mission? Do you know the name of that spiny organism? You're right, that is a crown of thorns. But take note, these kinds of sea stars are not to be touched, since they can be very dangerous. Now join me and my friends as we go on a mission of knowing how the crown of thorns respire. Crown of Thorns is a sea star named for the spines that cover its body and arms. They are found near a colony of corals since polyps are their main diet. Did you know that sea stars show the presence of the open respiratory system? The oxygen that enters through the papillae and tube feet moves freely throughout the body and gets taken up in the required cells by simple diffusion. Sea stars use their tube feet and populate for exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. But how did that happen? They have developed a way of respiration with the use of water vascular system for them to obtain oxygen from the water. Crown of thorns also use their populae, also known as dermal branchiae, to serve in respiration and waste removal. The thin membranous tissue at the surface of the populae easily allows the respiratory gases to diffuse directly down to their gradients. Wow! Their respiratory system may be simple, but it sure is amazing. Now let's take a look on the factors that affect their breathing. Crown of thorns live in the ocean. They can't survive out of the water as they can't breathe. They have developed a way of respiration with the use of water vascular system for them to obtain oxygen from the water. Starfish have a simple body plan and use their two feet and papillae for respiration. Before I end this mission, I would like to leave you guys with this fun fact. Since respiration occurs at the sea star's tube feet, other activities such as moving and eating occur simultaneously as they're breathing. How cool is that? That's it for today, Info Rangers. This is Info Hero, getting ready for our next mission.